and uh, the, the the opposition, it seems, are saying, sa trying to say, oh well, we're not open uh, to dialogue. They've made their position clear. The National Party made their position clear last year, straight away, without bothering to even pretend to look at the detail. You've had this pretense from Peter Dutton and then a preemptive announcement yesterday because of the Aston by-election outcome, driven by the internal politics of the Liberal Party. Now, Australia deserves better than that. This is an issue that has been around for a long period of time. John Howard, when he was Prime Minister, going back to last century, talked about constitutional recognition. There have been more than 10 inquiries, including inquiries established by the former coalition government in which Peter Dutton was a senior minister. You had the joint parliamentary inquiry by Pat Dodson and by Julian Lisa. You had the words put forward by Julian Lisa way back in 2014 that included, included a representative body to, to parliament and the executive government were in words put forward and advanced by Julian Lisa in 2014. This is not the government's proposal. This isn't something that was done by me and Tanya and Mark sitting around uh, a cabinet table. This has developed over more than a decade. The Uluru Statement from the Heart was the product of five years of consultation, including a constitutional convention of First Nations people. For him to say that this is about a Canberra voice the Uluru Statement from the Heart, the clue, is in the word Uluru. People gathered from all around Australia, in the heart of Australia, Indigenous Australians, to ask for, as the Uluru Statement from the Heart says, in 1967 we were counted, in 2017 we seek to be heard. That is what this is about. And Australians will, I believe, I believe, uh, come together and build a better future. Uh, Peter Dutton has turned up with a sledgehammer because that's all he has in his toolkit.